Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is another tricky question. I'm keeping up with my promise, which is to do a tricky question every single weekday up until your exams. So I'm going to be doing that. It's really hard work. Um, so if you find it useful, then please do like the video and consider um, subscribing to the channel if you're not already. Okay. Uh, this one I found from a Madass paper. Um, uh, it's paper Y, I believe, of MP2. Uh, it just looks horrendous, and I've not done a binomial expansion, so I thought, let's mix it up and let's do it. And a reminder as well, I'm doing a live session on Wednesday, the 29th of May. It's on integration. It's going to be two and a half hours, and it's going to be a lot of fun and a lot of tricky integration questions. And I'm hoping that if you do sign up, you will leave feeling really confident about what is arguably the toughest topic on the A-level. So check it out. Link is in the description, and let's get into this question. Right, this is going to take a lot of lines of working. So let's expand out the, um, the first bracket. Um, so I'm going to write f of x is equal to uh, 1 plus ax. And then this bracket is what I'm going to expand. Now, already it has, um, well, I mean, the constant term inside is 1. Uh, so that means that we don't need to take anything out. That we can, means we can use the formula directly, which is great. Um, OK, so what is the formula? Well, it's in your formula book, uh, and it starts with 1. Um, and then it's nx, so n is the power, which is a third, and x is whatever this bar, whatever this expression here is, which is minus three x. I always put it in brackets, so I've so that means that I don't forget to like square or apply the power to the whole expression, not just the the x. Okay, and then it's um, n n minus one, which would be this, all over uh, two factorial. Uh, and then multiplied by uh, the x, um, which in this case again is minus 3x uh, squared. Um, and then we're going to go uh, again. And we're going to get a third, and then this is minus 2 thirds, and then we do times it by n minus 2 this time, which is minus 5 over 3. Um, and that's all over um, 3 factorial, and that will be minus 3x cubed. Now, it does say eventually uh, I'm going to need to identify the x to the 4 coefficient. Um, and because I'm going to be multiplying this bracket by 1 eventually, um, it means I'm going to need to write out the x to the 4 uh, coefficient at some point. So I might as well do it now. Uh, so 1 third um, minus 2 thirds <laughs> minus 5 thirds. This is riveting, I'm sure. Minus 8 thirds and then all over. Um, 4 factorial, and then that is minus 3x to the power of 4. Okay, great. Um, and yeah, so I'll, just to keep it, I, I will, I'm not sure what to do. Yeah, I will, um, I'll write the next one as well. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. That would make sense. Okay, so the next one, um, so add, um, uh, and then I'm going to rewrite this as b, 1 plus a half x to the power of minus 2 because the uh, f uh, bracket here is on the denominator so that's the same as giving it a negative power um, and now I can apply the uh, binomial expansion and again we've got a 1 in this slot here so it means we don't need to pull anything out thankfully so we just need to write out the um, the expansion okay so it'll be b uh, multiplied by uh, so again, 1 and then plus um, the power is minus 2 uh, and multiplied by the x term, which is a half x. Uh, and then we're going to add on um, minus 2 and then take n minus 1. It's going to be minus 3 and that's all over 2 factorial. And that is a half uh, x squared. And then plus uh, minus 2 minus 3 uh, minus 4 all over uh, 3 factorial, uh, and that's a half x cubed. And then minus 2, minus 3, uh, minus 4, minus 5, all over 4 factorial, and then that is a half um, x to the 4. Close brackets. Oof. Okay. Now um, we need to we need to simplify. 
Okay, so even actually before I multiply uh, through this, I'm going to need to simplify this big square bracket. Uh, I'm going to do it without a calculator, um, just because why not? Uh, and also I can't fit my calculator on the screen because I've taken up too much space. Uh, so I've got 1 and I've got a third times by 3, uh, which is going to be just um, uh, 1 and there's a negative there. Uh, here you've got the 3 squared and then you've got these um, divide by 3's here, so those will cancel. So you've got a 2 on top and a 2 on bottom which will also cancel. And the negatives there are 1, 2, 3 of them, so it's minus x squared. Okay, once again, um, again we've got we've got three cubed here, and that's going to cancel with these uh, divide by threes there. So that that's really helpful. Uh, and then we've got two and five on top, um, which makes ten. There will be a negative because there's an odd number of negatives in total. So it's ten over and three factorial is six, and that is x cubed, which can be simplified to uh, five over three. Okay, uh, again. 3 to the 4, all of these 3's will cancel, so on top we have um, an 8, uh, but that will cancel with the um, with the 4 and the 2 from the factorial, and that will leave us with a 5 and a 2 on top, and then a 3 from the factorial on the bottom, and we have one negative, we have an odd number of negatives, so that's 10 over 3, and that's x to the 4. Beautiful. Okay, right, let's do the B's now. Um, so B, lots of. Uh, we have 1. Uh, we have here uh, minus x. Um, this will give me a quarter. So that'll be 4 on the bottom. And a 2 on the bottom makes 8 on the bottom. That will cancel. So we're 4 on the bottom. So we're 3 over 4. And that's going to be positive uh, because there's an even number of odds. Um, and here, this is going to be negative, there's an odd number of odds. We're going to have um, the half cubed, so that's going to be 8 on the bottom. Uh, the 3 factorial is actually just going to cancel with the 3 and the 2 there. So we've got 4 there, and we've got 8 on the bottom, so that is a half x cubed. And here we have an even number of odds. The 4 factorial is going to cancel with the 4, 3 and the 2. So we have 5 over uh, a half to the 4, which is 16, or 16th, so it's 5 over 16, x to the 4. Okay, good little mental mass workout there, always good as well, um, because sometimes you know you can't always rely on your calculator, because you can, uh, so it's good to be able to check mentally as well. Okay, right, we're nowhere near, are we? We're nowhere near, we've still got to multiply through. Um, now, in fact, what I'm going to do, I'm just going just gonna to look for the x squared coefficients. Let's just look for the x squareds, because that we know is equal to 0. So in terms of the x squareds, where are we going to get those from? We're going to get uh, 1 there. That's going to give me a minus 1x squared. And I'm also going to get 1 when I do this times by this. So that's going to give me minus ax squared. Um, and where are the other x squareds going to come from? Um, uh, the other x squareds are going to come from, let me just make that clear by changing the colour. Uh, yeah. Yes, that's much better. So in total, what is that? It's minus 1x squared and it's minus an ax squared. And then what about over here? What are the x squareds we've got? Um, we have um, just this times this, which will be b uh, 3 quarters b x squared, so plus 3 quarters b, uh, and that all equals 0. Perfect. Uh, times through by 4. And then um, add the 4 to that side, and that is primed for a simultaneous equation. Okay, now let's look at the x uh, cubed. So what have we got? We have... Here, we're going to get uh, this term, uh, which is going to give me minus 5 thirds x cubes. And over here, we'll get that one, which will give me just minus a lots of x cubed. And then uh, on the other side, um, we are going to get 
this term here, which gives me minus uh, a half b lots of x cubed. And again, we're told that equals zero because the question says that the, those two coefficients equal zero. Times through by six, uh, which gives me minus 10, uh, minus 6a, and then um, minus 3b equals zero. Uh, let's bring it all over, or not bring it all over, sorry, let's just uh, bring the 10 over like that. Lovely, okay, I'm gonna just grab some more space. I'll write them uh, one uh, above and below each other, uh, like so. And then let's add these equations. Okay, with well, that gives me uh, minus 10a is equal to 14. Uh, so a is equal to um, a minus seven over five. Uh, yes, that is right. Okay, then let's sub that back in. So that gives me uh, 28 over five and plus 3b is equal to four, um, which is the same as 20 over five. So 3b is equal to minus eight over five. Uh, so b is equal to minus eight over 15. Okay, fantastic. Uh, and now it just says find the, um, well it says find the x to the four uh, coefficient. Okay, so where's that gonna come from then? That is gonna come from me, uh, multiplying um, uh, this times this. Uh, so that will be um, minus 10 over three x to the four. Uh, in fact, we don't, we don't need to write the x to the four. We're just collecting the coefficients. So x to the four coefficients this time. We'll get minus 10 over three. And then we'll also multiply ax through by uh, the cubed coefficient. So that will give me uh, minus five over three a. And then on the other side as well, we will get b multiplied by five over 16. So that will be just plus five over 16 b. Okay, so then we just need to substitute in these uh, fractions and do a bit of fraction work. Um, and we should be, uh, we should, I hope, I really hope, this is gonna come out with the same answer. Okay, so these questions are so good because you know they also, like I said, could test your mental maths and some of your numeracy skills, which is great. Um, so that will give me a two on bottom, and that will give me a three on bottom there. Okay, uh, so we will get then, so minus 10 over three, uh, minus uh, two minuses, make a plus, uh, seven over three, and then here we just have plus uh, one over six. So that is, um, um, that is, that's minus three over three, which is minus one, plus a sixth, and that makes, uh, ah, oh, ah, there's a minus there, that cheeky minus, so that's a minus, and that's a minus, and then that gives us the minus seven over six. Beautiful, okay, fantastic. I really hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you next week for some more tricky questions. Bye for now.